everyone here we are going to discuss about the walters model that is the first model of relevance theory of dividend decisions so walters model so this is a formula which we will use for the calculation of the walters model that is p is equals to d by ke plus r by ke into e minus d whole divided by ke or you can also use this formula so where p stands for market price of the share e stands for the earning per share d stands for dividend per share ke stands for cost of capital or cost of equity r stands for rate of return by using this formula we will go for calculate the market price of the share or a value of equity shares under the walters model so in this walters model it is a relevance theory because yeah, according to this relevance theory the dividend payout will have the effect on the market value of the firm so the walters model comes under the relevance theory by using this formula we will go for calculating the value or market price of the shares according to walters model let us see the problem here is the problem following is the information related to a company calculate the value of equity shares when dividend payout ratio is 40 and 60 percent so in the problem they have given rate of return that is so rate of return 20 percent cost of capital 15 percent earning per share 10 rupees so with this information by using walters model we have to calculate value of equity shares at dividend payout ratio 40 percent and also when the dividend payout ratio is 60 percent means we have to calculate the value of equity shares two times that is when dividend payout ratio is 40 and when dividend payout ratio is 60 percent so first we'll calculate at dividend payout ratio is 40 so the formula is p is equals to d divided by ke plus r by ke into e minus d and whole divided by ke so now d is nothing but dividend payout what is the dividend payout they have given ratio not they have not given the direct what is the amount of dividend so first you should go for calculating the value of dividend so value of dividend is always calculated on the earnings per share because the companies will pay the dividend on the earnings gained by the company so dividend will be calculated on the earnings per share so 10 rupees into here the dividend payout ratio is 40 so 40 divided by 100 so now you will get it as the 4 rupees so dividend paid is 4 rupees so d stands for dividend 4 divided by k is nothing but cost of capital 15 percent 0.15 plus r stands for rate of return 20 percent 0.20 by ke again 0.15 that is 15 percent into e stands for earning per share that is 10 rupees minus d stands for the dividend 4 rupees whole divided by ke cost of equity 0.15 so now 4 divided by 0.15 it will get 26.66 plus 0 0.20 divided by 0 0.15 you will get 1.33 into 10 minus 4 you will get 6 divided by 0 0.15 so again 26.66 plus 1.33 into 6 so 1.33 into 6 is will get 7.98 divided by so now 26.66 plus 7.98 divided by 0 0.15 so you'll get 53.2 so now 26 point 26.66 plus 53.2 so you'll get 79.86 as the value of equity shares when the dividend payout ratio is at 40 percent so this is how we'll go for calculating the price of the shares by using the walter model so now we have seen the calculation of value when the dividend payout rate is 40 percent in the problem they are asking again 
the calculation of what 60 percent also so let us see what is the value at dividend payout ratio is 60 so the second condition they have given is when the dividend payout ratio is 60 percent so here also we'll use the same formula but we need the value of d so again dividend is equals to so 10 rupees is earning per share 60 divided by 100 so it will become 6 rupees so 10 into 60 divided by 100 so you will get 6 rupees as the dividend value so 6 divided by cost of equity is 15 percent that is 0 0.15 plus rate of return is 20 percent 0 0.20 by 0 0.15 into earnings e stands for earnings that is 10 dividend rate is 6 rupees whole divided by ke that is cost of equity 0 0.15 so now 6 divided by 0 0.15 so you'll get 40 rupees 40 plus 0 0.20 divided by 0 0.15 you'll get 1.33 10 minus 6 will be 4 divided by 0 0.15 so 40 plus 1.33 into 1.33 into 4 so you will get 5.32 divided by 0 0.15 so 40 plus 5.32 divided by 0 0.15 will get 35.46 so totally 40 plus 35.66 75.46 this is the value of equity shares when the dividend payout ratio is 60 percent this is how we will go for calculating the value of shares using the walters model